Alright guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a really cool and simple linear wipe transition in HeadFilm Express. To get started, we're going to set up our template. I'm going to choose 1080p at 30 frames per second. You are free to choose your own template. And then click on Start Compositing. Once it opens up, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on this little cog icon to open up the Composite Shot properties. And let's just change the duration of this composite shot. Uh, we will just change that to one. So our composite shot length is now one second long and click on OK. Now we'll just create a new a new plane layer and we can call this anything that you want. You can call this solid and click on OK. And you can just give it any color you want. I'm just going to go with this blue color right here and um, then I'll just go into the transform and I'll just create a position keyframe and I'll just move the position of this solid background I'll just move it down like that and I'll just move like 15 frames forward in time and I'll just bring the position back to zero so now you have this simple animation now I'll just select these two keyframes and convert them to manual bezier go to value graph and I want the animation to be a bit more uh, faster at the beginning and a bit more slower at the end. So I'll just select the second keyframe and drag its handle all the way to the left. And the first keyframe, I'll just drag its handle to the left as well, somewhere over there. So just create a curve like this. So now our animation will look a bit more smoother like that. And uh, then what you have to do is we just have to create a uh, three more copies of this solid layer so I'll just do that right now and now I'll just select these top three layers and in the fix I'll search for the fill color and apply it on these layers and let's just expand the fill color set the blend amount 200% on all these fill color effect like that and then we can just click on this color box right here and we can pick any color from this window so let me just randomly pick any color like that and let's go with this one and maybe we can just go with this one as well something like that so now we have like four different colors and now um, all we have to do is stagger these layers so what I'm gonna do is I'm just, I'm just gonna go and move three frames uh, forward into the timeline so I can just hit the period key on the keyboard three times to move three frames forward and now I'll just select the second last layer and I'll just put it right at that position move three frames forward again and I'll just select the second layer move it at that position and again three frames forward I can just put the last layer at uh, the first layer at this position so now we have something like this okay so uh, now uh, what we can do is we can so we have the in animation or the in transition we can also create the out transition as well and for that what we'll do is we'll create a new composite shot and we can set the duration of this one to two seconds long uh, and click on OK and now we can grab the first composite shot and just bring it in the second composite shot we can like duplicate this composite shot and I'll just move it right next to our first composite shot and then in the effects we can search for the time reverse effect and apply it on this layer on the first uh, the second composite shot I mean so now if you play this uh, we have the in animation and then we have the out animation as well and now it's all about importing your footages inside a hit film and creating a transition from one image to another so let me just show you how uh, to do that so we can just select any two images import them inside it film obviously you can use video as well so we can just drag this one right here make any adjustments if you want and we can like end it somewhere over here grab the second image and we can start it somewhere from this point in time and now uh, you can see that if you play this uh, we have this first image uh, there is the transition move forward and you can see the transition 
is taking place into the second image obviously uh, it doesn't look uh, we can't we can barely see the image at the beginning so we can like you know make adjustments to the positioning of our transition so let's just call this transition one and this one will be our transition two and we can like um, change the position of these and we can just you know delay them a bit like that uh, so that we can like you know see the images a bit more clearly so so that's pretty much it that's how you can create this linear wipe a transition and hit film express i hope you uh, learned something new in this tutorial if you did uh, please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel i'll catch you guys in the next one